Hello everybody, this is Slim Kirby, and I'm here to present my new Let's Play. Now if you've read the title, <coughs> excuse me, uh, if you've read the title, uh, you're probably a little confused because um, I picked a game that uh, nobody really uh, voted for in my um, top ten list. And, uh, well, that's because a few things happened. Originally I was planning to do Star Fox 64, to be honest. But, uh, something was wrong with my cartridge yesterday. And I tried testing it again today, and it was, um, still not working. So, instead of, uh, dealing with it and postponing it for any longer, I just switched to another sh pretty short game. Uh, and ended up going with Super Mario Land 3 Wario Land. And... I just want to say that I still appreciate all your votes, especially for Pikmin. Pikmin got a lot of votes, and that was a game that I added at the last minute. So, uh, I will promise that I do promise that once I get back to college, I'm going to find a way to get Pikmin working and my recording working, and I'll probably do a let's play of Pikmin uh, during uh, while I'm at college. So, uh, maybe you might be able to see that sooner than you think. And uh, I also might do a Mario Galaxy one after that because a lot of people voted for Mario Galaxy as well. But anyways, uh, let's get this game started because I only have 10 minutes, remember. And as you know, it's not a GameCube game. It's uh, a game I'm playing on my Game Boy player. Here it is, uh, Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. Uh, I still remember when this game came out. I, I saw it on a Nintendo Power issue, and immediately I went to my dad and go, G give me this game. And he was like, uh, okay. And I've really enjoyed this game ever since. It's a really... First time, it was a really unique game. Um, and a really unique Mario spinoff. Because as you know, the first two Mario Land games were actually Mario. This one's actually Wario. I'm sorry if you hear that in the background. My mom's vacuuming and my dog is going crazy. But, okay. As you can see, it's got a traditional Mario Land uh, file select screen. a game. Oh, that's not. I wasn't jumping. Now this is gonna be a 100% let's play, so I'm gonna be trying to get all the treasure, ch the treasures, and uh, beat the game. The first world we have is Rice Beach. Life's a beach, ain't it? In uh, this game, you have to rely a lot more on coins than you would in Mario games. Because at some point, um, in most levels, uh, ten, having ten coins is almost the only way uh, to go through an exit. So if you don't have ten coins by the end of the level, you have to go back and get several coins. I'm still trying to get used to the lag that's cre be created by uh, my converter uh, directly in the Movie Maker. It's a little weird, but it hasn't affected me too much yet. jumps a lot higher than Mario would. See, yeah, there's definitely lag on this, because as you see, as you can see, I pressed the up button too late. This is definitely something I'll have to get used to. But I guess that's the price you pay with video quality. Come on. 
Ow. I swear, if I die on this first level... Oh, come on. If I die on this first level, I'm gonna give up immediately. Because, uh... I'd like to play a game where I'm not... ...being destroyed by lag. Uh, I'll try using the control pad. That might work a little better. I was using the control stick. Okay, and uh... Here's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, this enemy is gonna give me a demonstration on how to work the... ...exits. You have to throw coins at the exits, and you need ten coins to do it. Also, you get two bonus games you can play. Uh, I think this one, this one's uh, one where you have to just pull a random string, and if you get coins, if you're successful. But this is like a different. I'll, I'll play both of them. Yeah, this is the one I thought. Basically, you pull one of the random buckets, and you get coins, or you get a weight thrown on top of you. Come on, let's have a coin this time. Yes! And I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one this time. Damn it. Oh well. No big deal. Uh, this is the coin total. Uh, in the game, if you collect enough coins, uh, the ending can change based on how many coins you collect. Oh. I was using the control stick again. Hopefully I can get through this level in the next three minutes, because... of the time limit. I do not want to die. Oh, come on. First death of the game happened on level two. Uh, that's something else a uh, bowl warrior can do. You can uh, latch your horns to the ceiling. It's helpful in uh, some levels. I forget which levels, but there's a, you have to do it sometime. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just a unique little trick you can do with it. I don't know if you have to use it for anything. Oh jeez, I hate those things. What? What's worse is I think there's a, a midpoint goal there. But I can't even go into it because I need Big Wario. Uh, why? Oh, come on. Well, I'm at the 10 minute mark anyways, so uh, 
Hopefully next time I don't fail at Mario Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3.